Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm reading this. Today is considered Valentine's Day for any of you who actually do acknowledge or partake in that. I personally do not. Not to say that it's not a real thing, but definitely not something that I participate in personally. However, um, we've got a lot of interesting energy that is connected to this. Uh, but whenever you find yourself at this reading, it does not have to be the week of Valentine's Day. If the message is resonating for you, the message is most likely for you. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aries. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you. Check with your moon or rising sign if they're not resonating for you, or keep them in your back pocket, because a lot of these readings are pulling on the hidden blind spots that we all possess in the subconscious. For right now, the energy is really assisting us uh, in bringing the unconscious to consciousness. Our childhood wounds, we've got Mars in a square with Chiron, revealing hidden uh, core wounds of ours that have affected um, the way we initiate certain things. Also the way we confront others. We have loneliness. <laughs> First card out for you, Aries. I know that I am never alone. We also have Venus, I gotta look at my notes, conjunct Neptune today, which is more of a dreamy type energy, but it is balanced out by the sun in a conjunction to Saturn, bringing us a reality check, a true reality check. What else do we got here? Um, we're also starting to take accountability and accept responsibility for ourselves and our lives and our actions. Oh yes, and we have Mercury conjunct Pluto. That is separating now, but that has been playing out for the last week or so, releasing old outdated patterns as well as, you know, we may be doing some deeper psychological analysis on yourself. All right, let's keep going. What else do we have for Aries this week? Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Hmm. Maybe you're finding more happiness alone. I'm not really reading it that way, but this loneliness card truly has come out in every Zodiac reading last week and so far this week as well. Meaning it is... Um, like a worldwide epidemic, the loneliness. Even if we are surrounded by other people, we're not truly connecting deeply. It's more surface level, superficial, and that feels lonely, especially the more and more intense and in depth this energy gets for us all. Know that you are never alone, Aries. Never, ever alone. There are times when we are required to sort of have some time alone to process, to go through the experiences that we're going through with a fine tooth comb deeply within ourselves. Because if we're, you know, around other, we're distracted by other people too much, we're never going to get there. So sometimes the the journey to enlightenment, to consciousness, expanding consciousness can feel lonely at times. It's not meant to be, and it's not meant to be for a very long time anyway. We have fear at the bottom. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. This is overall energy. We've got this fear. Oh, we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Hmm. So you got a deep-seated fear that could be unconscious. You might be conscious of it, Aries, of actually living in the energy of love, living through the heart 
and not the mind. Envy below that. Which actually leads to some guilt at times. It definitely affects our happiness and it most definitely makes us feel lonely, even if we do have others around us because we're not living true to our heart. We're not living through the energy of love. There's a fear, there's a block there. Let's find out why. Let's see what else is coming, um, gonna come out here. And it's not to say that you don't have the ability to love or you don't love, but um, you're not living from, you're not living through that energy on your day to day on a regular basis. You're guarded. There's fear there. Let's see if we can find out why. We have responsibility under loneliness. You may feel like you have this sense of responsibility, not only for yourself, but for others and that nobody else is taking accountability for themselves and that's where you feel lonely authenticity and values with happiness okay so aries are you not living an authentic life truly through the heart by your core values, your soul's core values of what's really truly important here on this planet. Why are you alive here? Why are you here? What is important to you, not to anybody else? What are your core values? What's keeping you from your happiness? I'll tell you one thing, I'm already hearing you Aries, I'm happy. I remember saying that years ago when I was not consciously aware of myself or of life and I thought I was happy. No, it wasn't until I went through the spiritual journey and I had everything stripped away from me and uh, including my ego and I found my connection. I reconnected with my higher self, with spirit. To, true, to find true happiness, my true happiness, I realized, my God, I wasn't happy when I said I was. That was my ego, my protector. You know how the ego protects us? And it's designed. We build our ego through life, but the ego protects us by hiding the truth from us. So I'm here to read um, on that subconscious blind spot for everybody to like shine a little spotlight on it. learning you are learning you're learning that you're holding on to things that you don't need to hold on to anymore you may also have some um not the greatest things to say about yourself there's some guilt there you've got some kind of there's some guilt based off of some belief that either somebody else put into your head or it's just been programmed and conditioned into you that just isn't even true I think this is what you're learning about right now, Aries. Fear. We have intuition below that. Well, our intuition is linked to our emotions, mostly the heart. But we have other energy centers that also pick up on our intuitive senses. But when you're blocked off, when you're living in fear of being transparent, being authentic, being real seeing all of your parts and into you and allowing the world to see into you, that is a scary thing for many humans to do. Um, but you're blocking yourself from your intuition, from your discernment even. You may have, um, uh, this is where people can take advantage of us, manipulate things. We fall for certain beliefs that later on we find out are not true. Let's keep going. Tell me about this loneliness for Aries, please. Okay. Memories of love. 
Hmm. Something's coming up for you. You actually do have stored in your cellular memory love experiences of love and that's coming back up for you it is your responsibility and your responsibility solely to reconnect to your heart for your own happiness but you're not responsible for other people's happiness or other people's companionship even or their loneliness you're lonely and you might be lonely in a relationship because you feel responsible for them in some way, shape, or form. This could be for some of you. For others of you, something about responsibility. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that spirit saying, nope, that's it. Take what resonates for you. That's a pattern of codependency. That's linked to childhood. Okay, so we have patience. So you are patient through the process. I feel like you are aware that you are on a spiritual path. In search of your yourself, your happiness, your authenticity, who you truly are, what's truly important to you, your values. Be patient through that. I feel like you want to race through it, Aries. That would be an Aries thing to do, right? Aries is like, let's go. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> be patient with yourself, Aries. You're getting there. You're getting there. That's beautiful. Awareness is the first step. It truly is. Self-awareness. Self-understanding. Guilt, flirting, firm foundation, yeah, sacral, wow. You're learning that um, you've got to let go of some guilt, some baggage, so that you can learn more about yourself. You may have another person really pulling you in a direction, taking you out of your life path, of what... Spirit is really trying to show you right now. But it's important to be solid within yourself, grounded, a firm foundation within yourself. Know thyself. That is this card. Know thyself. Feel safe and confident in this world as you, authentically. Let go of the guilt. Somebody else places that on you and you carry it with you. You may have been carrying it with you your whole life. Who knows? But the sacral chakra speaks of our vita, our creativity. Well, what I'm getting from this part, because the sacral chakra also is our libido. Um, it is also linked to how we connect to others. And are they intimate? Are they genuine, authentic? Are you able to let your guard down and be vulnerable enough to be transparent, to let others see into you? Then they will let you see into them, into me see. It does take confidence, a firm foundation, a healthy, balanced sacral chakra. Know yourself. And if you truly want to have connections and not feel so lonely, even if you are connecting to another, it's important to let all the armor down and be authentic, be vulnerable, be transparent. That is where true intimacy lies. That is true connection. It's not superficial. It's not surface level. It's not bullshit. It's real. What else do we have for Aries? <laughs> I feel like I just gave a lecture to you. <laughs> These are channeled messages, by the way. You haven't figured that out yet. The energies channel through me in multiple ways.
And I'm going to release the fear. You are testing your resolve to live in the energy of love. Your soul's desire is to live in the energy of love. And who doesn't want to live in the energy of love? There's a lot, I mean, across the globe, there's a lot of fear of that because that means being vulnerable. And, you know, if we're surviving, if we're in survival mode, being vulnerable is stupid, right? <laughs> you fear that. The devil. Definitely, I'm getting, there's somebody else either in your life now or in the past that is linked to some, is connected and mirroring some of your patterns and habits that have you chained and bound to something that is not true to you, not authentic to you. These are also toxic patterns and habits that we carry with us in life. It's keeping you in that loneliness aspect. This could be linked to responsibility, feeling responsible for something that you're not responsible for. You may be carrying this guilt around with you because you feel responsible for someone else's pain, is it death even I'm hearing? That's for someone. Um, yeah, release that guilt. Ugh. Because this will just keep you chained to things that just, it's that karmic wheel. It's time to jump off of it. It's time to open your heart up, Aries. Let go of that guilt. It is not your responsibility. They are not your responsibility. You are your responsibility. Your heart, your emotions are your responsibility. This also speaks of your happiness. What, what is it, Aries, that just totally fills your cup up with love, overflowing? What is it that you love that just gets you like totally like breathless even? What is it that you value truly, authentically, your happy place? It's your responsibility to connect with that part of yourself, the heart, love, love of self first and foremost. So walk in this world in love through the heart. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. So you are learning. I think you're learning about this guilt that you may not have realized that you've been carrying or some form of belief. If it's not guilt, the card is guilt that this falls under, but it's some form of belief that just does not belong with you. It is not true. It's linked to um, how you express yourself, how you express your emotions, your feelings as well as maybe giving emotional support to others or receiving emotional support from others. I'm hearing that, receiving. And it's because you're not firmly rooted within yourself. Everything's fine. So overall, Aries, you go about life pretending like everything's fine while you've got 10 swords shoved into your back. All this pain that you carry around with you. Yeah, you're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's the ego hiding the truth from you. The fool below that speaks of um, you know, that childlike wonder of life. Just, that is the card of Aries, the starter, the initiator. Just go for it. Go for your happiness. Stop fearing it. This talks of having trust and faith in the universe, in life itself. I'm going to get one last, oh, no, we have one more layer for you, Aries, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. This is something that ended painfully for you. But you're also, you know, still walking around with 
this pain body, these swords in you. They may, that subconscious pattern may come out from time to time and even catch you off guard. You're like, I don't know where this anger comes from. I don't know where this sadness comes from. It's because you've been carrying it around and acting like everything is fine for a long time. That's also what's causing the fear for you to um, open up your heart and live in the energy of love. The fear is also linked to paranoia. A lot of stories that just like, these are also all kinds of narratives and stories that are just not for your highest good. They're painful, they're causing suffering. King of Wands with the devil. This speaks of somebody that's stubborn, wants to have things their own way, wants things to go their own way. And um, I see it linked with the devil card. Wants to be right. I mean, you do take action, but this is more egoic. There's not any heart and soul there. So again, you find yourself lonely. Know that you're never alone. You're never alone. Six of Swords. Whatever's going on with your energy, and we do have a lot of energy bringing up subconscious stuff within us, childhood, core childhood wounds within us, it is elevating you to a degree of um, balance, confluence within yourself. I feel like you're split energy and there's times when you're in the heart and you're authentic. But if something or someone comes by and you don't trust it because you're not in your intuition, you shut it back down and up comes the armor and here's the ego. And then you're not in your heart. So this is why you have to have patience with that part of you in, on the journey. Love that part of you too, but be aware of it. Once it's brought to the light of consciousness, then it doesn't have a... Um, it, it, it doesn't control you. If those feelings and sensations come up, you're aware. Okay, here comes some of my pattern again. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, again, back with this guilt. Damn. Somebody really did a number on you. And this is something deep. This goes deep. But you've probably had other experiences from that point on. This is where the fear lies also. If I'm authentic, if I'm open, um, I, I feel like things are gonna get taken from me. I'm gonna be at a loss. People are gonna take advantage of me. I'm gonna get hurt. That's a part of yourself that you want to connect with. Part of yourself that has been suppressed repressed, cast aside. Maybe you thought that was your weak part and actually it's your strength because it's connected to the heart. But the outlook that it gives you when you have it suppressed is that, you know, it's not safe. It's not safe to live in the energy of love. Six of Wands at the bottom here with death. So you are going through a transformation. The energies are working with you. So instead of fighting them or um, resisting, whatever changes are going on within you right now, changes that you are fully, your soul is guiding. You're aware of them deep inside, but your ego is fighting them tooth and nail. Well, you are finding the bravery and the strength to overcome that. Overall, you are. You just want to be aware of uh, where the mind goes, where the emotions go, and why. 
it's life's way of trying to show you hidden aspects of yourself that still are in your energy field and are controlling what you attract to you what you're putting out there because what we give is what we get energetically all right aries i'm going to get one last message for you before we wrap this up and as i'm shuffling this card if you don't mind if you like this video aries as a nice energetic exchange could you please click that like button the thumbs up button i would greatly appreciate it it helps with the youtube algorithms getting the messages out to more people as well as helping with the growth of this channel and if you are not subscribed and you would like to subscribe please do that also truly helps with everything i just mentioned and i am extremely grateful for all of you who have subscribed thank you very very much all right let's see what last messages want to come out for you aries oh, yeah we got some deep energy this week that's for sure hmm, we have hold your vision so what I'm getting, especially with the memories of love, there are parts of you that are coming online and showing you and reminding you of what it, what actually does bring you to true, authentic happiness, elation even, love, opening the heart, what it feels like, what gets you going, right? Hold that vision. Don't give up. Do not give up, Aries. You and you alone possess the energy to change these things for yourself. Surrender to the divine. Biggest message here. I'm probably going to title it this. Whatever's going on, it is divinely guided. Surrender to it. Some parts of you are resisting certain things because of the pain, because of the guilt, because of certain things that are still stuck in you. Let the universe guide you through releasing them. Last message for Aries, please. Thank you. Confidence is your key. Yeah. Again, being firmly rooted and grounded within yourself. Know thyself. Be confident in who you are authentically. That is your key to success, to happiness, to a life full of happiness and love. Who wouldn't want that? What's the bottom of the deck here? I didn't even look. Show the world the real you. Can't make it up, Aries. Ah, the universe really wants to strip away all of this gunk that is keeping you from being truly, authentically you, the real you. Show the world the real you, Aries, the real you. Not the you that your ego feels, okay, we can show this much <laughs> and we're going to guard the rest no it's time to release that that tell the ego to take a back seat this is being driven by the divine so that is your message for this week aries uh, i hope that this was helpful for you and i'm sending you out so much love take care bye